In this video, we can discuss about the sources of contamination in aseptic area. Aseptic area are designed to reduce the number of viable contaminating microorganism as well as presence of particulate matter where the manufacturing of parenteral preparations as well as the sterility testing will be performed. In this area, the route is the source of microbial contamination we will discuss this topic. First source of contamination is atmosphere. Usually atmosphere is unable to support the microbial growth. But test particles which carry soil microorganism may present in the septic area. Example for microorganism which may present on the dust particles are bacillus species, clostridium species, yeast and mold. Now indoor air also may containing some microorganism like staphylococcus species and streptococcus species on the particles of skin as well as clothing of operators who are working in the aseptic area. Now microbes which may occur in the droplet which is expelled into the atmosphere from the mouth and the respiratory tract by talking, sneezing and coughing of operators is the another source of contamination in the atmosphere. Microorganisms free from the dust particles are commonly found in the indoor and outdoor air. So these are the different sources of contamination from the atmosphere. Let's see another source of contamination that is the operator who are working in the aseptic area. Skin, air and clothing of operator are the more potent source of contamination in the aseptic area from the operators. Microorganisms like lipophilic yeast, dermatophytic fungi and staphylococcus are present in the skin of operators and the person who are poorly hygiene can result presence of skin coliform and other intestinal bacteria so by you item kulikade vrtiyagade ke verunne operators inde molunu kudal contaminations gal undavanulla chances gal now open wound are the sources of saprophytic and pathogenic microorganisms Murivugal dress cheyatha sameyath sobhayam item avade kudal contamination sugal indavanula chance sugal. Now nasal passages may containing Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus albus, and Neisseria pharyngitis. These are the some examples of microorganism which are present in the nasal passages which may act as a source of contamination from the operator. Now let's see next source of contamination that is the raw material which are used for the manufacturing or formulation of different sterile products. Usually the raw material which are from natural origins are more susceptible to contamination by bacteria, yeast and molds. And this will account for the high proportion of the microbial contamination in aseptic area. And another source of contamination from the raw material is from water. Water is used as a vehicle for the most of the parenteral preparation. So it may contain microbial as well as particulate microorganism which will act as a source of contamination in the aseptic area. Now coming to next source of contamination that is the equipment which are used for the formulation of aseptic preparation. This is the main source of microbial as well as particulate contamination and the working surface and external surface of the equipment are also potential source of contamination due to the sedimentation of the particles and, and the droplet from the atmosphere. So these are the different sources of contamination which will uh, contaminate the aseptic area. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.